Hello and welcome to another update video. In this video, I'd like to do a, a technical analysis on the Coinbase price chart based on an Elliott Wave analysis. And um, yeah, for everybody who invested in Coinbase back in May last year, when it had its launch in April, that was, yeah, at, uh, yeah over $400. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. It has really come down a lot it has come down a lot you know more than many people probably expected various reasons for that um one is probably just the general sentiment in the crypto market the other one is that oftentimes when you have a hype um when you have a hype around a certain company that starts on the us stock exchange then um, usually what you often see is a decline in value afterwards now we had a decline and then we moved up afterwards. So that was a good opportunity and a good chance for Coinbase to push it once more and maybe to make a new high while it didn't. And that is what I find very interesting because this was back in November. This was when Bitcoin actually made an all time high. Coinbase though did not make a higher high. It stayed below the issue price, making me or makes me quite confident that all of this is just a corrective wave pattern, what it clearly is but that this year was a wave B. We can clearly in an Elliott wave pattern identify here a wave A to the downside, a three wave move, a wave B to the upside, and then an impulse to the downside in a wave C. And we can now, we, we now get to the point where we need to think, is this overall correction over or do we go higher? Um, I made the More Crypto Online channel members, the gold members on Discord aware of that already a few weeks ago where I talked about Coinbase, uh, Coinbase on Discord and said that this is key support here at around $41, yeah? So the price came down, touched support here. This is a key level. This could, yeah, this could, and it's too early to really be confident about that, but this could have been the low on the 12th of May at around about $41. Now, if this level holds, there is a good chance that the low was already in on the 12th of May at around $40. I mean, you need to think about it. I think it started at around $430. It's come down to yeah, 40. Now it moved up from 40 to all the, all the way up to 80 here on the 31st of May, made 100%, but it has come down again. But so far, whoops, so far it has been holding this $40 level. So as long as we do that, yeah, we can interpret into this a first bullish move. It could start up from here to the upside, but it needs to, in a first instance, break above this $64 level. That is exactly where we are at the moment. That would indicate that we could have seen the low already, um, but best evidence for a beginning of an uptrend will be a move below, uh, sorry, a move above this yellow line. That is the 50 day moving average but also very crucial also from an um, from an um, yeah from an Elliott wave point of view would be a requirement to move above this level at 83 um, dollars now the problem the small problem i have with all of this here is that um, now if we look at the move to the downside it doesn't from the low here to this high at 83 dollars this does not look impulsive to be honest this looks very much like a like a three wave move. Yeah. I mean, to interpret a five wave move into this is possible, but it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. So it, it looks like a th clear three wave move, basically an ABC, which would now come down impulsively, which would indicate that the low wasn't in yet. So for me to get confidence here that the low was in, is that these two levels need to be broken. I mean, best evidence is the $83 level. And from there on, obviously we can move much higher. Yeah, and then first of all, first key resistance would be around $205. Then we've got the wave B high here at 368. These are sort of the long-term targets. Um, problem is, if we make it below the swing low here, below $44, then I think we're gonna see another lower low. Um, then, yeah, if, if the low wasn't in yet, then we can look at a potential disaster because that would indicate the idea. So if we look at this as an ABC pattern, um, we would then measure the length of the wave A, yeah, retrace to the wave B, 
and project it on to the wave C and a target for the wave C, an ideal target is actually the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level. That is the $10.95 level. And honestly, I have concerns about that. I have real concerns about that. If we come down to that level, I mean, um, Coinbase, the price for one share was $430 when it launched. And if it comes down to 10.95, it just means a lot for the sentiment, doesn't it? It's not good. It's not good. And in addition to that, Coinbase already has financial difficulties. Otherwise, they would not um, revoke job offers and they would not release people, which they are doing. In addition to that, they hold a lot of Bitcoin. Um, and obviously, when also Bitcoin, let's say Bitcoin made another lower low now, then I think we would see Coinbase also drop below this $41 level. And if that happens, there's a, a very, very, very high likelihood it will actually come down to the 1095 level. Now from here, it has a chance to move up. However, in my opinion, there's also a chance, there's a chance that Coinbase will get into more severe financial difficulties if we come down to that level. Um, but let's hope the low is in for Coinbase and for all investors. Yeah. Um, from here, it can move up, but it first needs to show a bit more. It, it currently does not show the price action that would justify a more bullish sentiment here around um, around Coinbase, um, period, <laughs> period. It would need to move back above that $85 level. Absolutely, that's crucial. Yeah. Um, looking at the indicators here, and let's go to the daily. I think that's probably here the more meaningful one. Um, on the daily chart, those indicators, I mean, it's good that we've seen here a bullish crossover on the ADX, but the trend is still coming down. The white line is the trend strength, which is coming down, indicating we're just moving sideways in which um, situation this ADX is a bit less useful. The RSI though is moving higher, which is good. It's showing a bullish divergence where we're making here a lower low from that low to that low, a slightly lower low, but a significantly higher low on the RSI that shows potential bullishness here. Yeah, also we had a bullish crossover, the purple line above the yellow line, and we're about to cross the 50 level of the RSI. Keep an eye on that. Um, if this is uh, breaking out bullish, that could push the price up higher as well. MACD pushing up higher as well. Good, not losing any bullish momentum at the moment. It is pushing higher um, and you can see the, the um, momentum is increasing and we might get a cross of the zero line, which is good. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. If we see anything here, here very nicely as well. I mean, this gives hope, uh, hope uh, at the moment. We might see a bullish cross over here and we have a bullish divergence on the RSI, which is also good. So as soon as we see here a bullish diver divergence on the weekly chart, it could indicate that the low is in. Also, we see another positive development here, which is not quite, is it a bullish engulfing candle? Yes, it is a bu not a very strong one, but it's a bullish engulfing candle. It, it, you know, that weekly candle here, when the weekly close happened, it um, is obviously fully engulfing previous price action. That is a bullish reversal pattern, one of the most reliable ones. So it could, it's another indicator that the low could be in. So, you know, at the moment we're just investigating if the low is in. There are a few signs um, confirming that, including here that long week to the downside, the bullish engulfing candle. Um, we have not broken the low from 41, uh, from the 12th of May here. Uh, no, it was the 9th of May. No, it's sorry, that's the weekly here. Let's go back to the daily. So here it is the 12th Yeah, We have not made a lower low since then. And um, also here we're seeing now on the daily a potential bullish uh, pattern emerging. So if we see another green candle with a higher close price, you would call that a uh, the three white soldiers, um, also a bullish um, candlestick pattern. Yeah, So it's going in the right direction, but the price action is still too weak to be more bullish. We need to break now these structural key resistance levels that I mentioned, and then we can look further towards the upside. So hopefully you like the update here. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then also check out the More Crypto Online channel and check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.